dancing and music and playing with this little car out the back and all the things that an average two-year-old loves to do. The thing is, Ethan Davies is anything but average. In his two years, he's fought bigger battles than most people face in a lifetime, and he's still fighting. He doesn't pity himself. He doesn't have any of that. He just gets on with it. And I think that's having a kid like that, you sort of have to get on with it yourself. At just over one and a half, Ethan was diagnosed with an ependymoma. It's a word most parents like Christy Lee and Shannon have never heard of. In simple terms, it was a brain tumour. It was probably the hot, most horrible day in my life. I think the afternoon that it happened, um, we knew that something was wrong. He was diagnosed late on a Thursday afternoon and within a couple of hours um, we met his neurosurgeon, Dr Sharon Lee at PMH. Normally I'm the one that, that gets told, oh, there's this MRI. I get the call from MRI and I have to go up and talk to this family and just break the news and to see, see the heartache and the pain. Um, I just want to see the kids grow up and, and, and be normal. You know, I'd love to be out of a business and not have to operate if there were no tumours. That would be perfect. About 20 kids in WA each year receive this sort of diagnosis. Ependymoma is the third most common form of brain tumour in children. This is what Ethan's looked like. It requires painstaking, delicate surgery to remove. So it certainly takes up a substantial part of, part his, of brain. his brain. And this brain stem also um, runs this you know, movement of the tongue, swallowing. Um, it's where all the whole information of the whole brain comes through that brain stem. So that's a very exquisitely um, eloquent part of the brain. It was a nine hour surgery. Um, he went in first thing in the morning and we had been told it could take any number of hours. It would just depend basically what it was like when they got in there. Dr Sharon Lee was able to remove almost the entire tumour, leaving just a tiny fraction too close to the brain stem to touch. That meant more treatment. He had chemotherapy, induction chemotherapy, to try and shrink the remaining tumour. And he had a scan in April at the end of the chemotherapy and it was amazing, the tumour had disappeared. It couldn't be seen on the MRI, which was the best result anybody could have asked for. Ethan's recovery has been amazing, matched only by the amazing spirit of his mum and dad. In the midst of their medical crisis, they made a profound decision to help other children. You worry, you cry, you go through all those stages and then you're sort of left going, well, what do I do now and how can I be positive for him? Christy Lee and Shannon decided to establish a scholarship to fund a surgeon to undertake research at the Telethon Institute for Child Health Research. It will fund uh, the employment of a researcher who will be dedicated to you know, researching um, the, the better prevention and diagnosis and treatment of childhood brain cancer. You know, and that, you know that's where the money will be going. It just really demonstrates how selfless this family is uh, in really wanting to undertake something that will have no real impact on their child, um, but will impact on children in the future. Dr Nick Gattardo is co-leader of the Telethon Institute's Brain Cancer Research Group. He also treated Ethan at Princess Margaret. He says we've come a long way, but research can still unlock so much more. The holy grail really is finding out uh, what, which cells cause the tumours and, and why. And one way of addressing that, and it's been addressed as we speak, uh, is to understand the genetics behind the brain tumours, uh, or all tumours in general. If we can find the first enzyme or the first thing that went wrong, then we can stop this tumour. Ethan's parents hope their son's remarkable fight will inspire others to help as he continues his journey to recovery. That's why they've launched the scholarship in his name. We wanted to do it while he was here because we really feel that he's a symbol of hope. We think he's really powerful to be able to see him and interact with him. And we wanted him, I mean, we don't know what will happen to him longer term, but we wanted him to be here and to be a part of it. And we think he has something to give. I look forward to, to seeing him every day, you know, waking up to see him and, and coming home from work. Um, you know, every smile and giggle is worth a million bucks. 
I think he's done fantastically well. I couldn't be prouder of him.